Good morning and welcome to the Killick and Co Market Update. This week we had the latest inflation numbers from the UK which were a little bit disappointing. The headline rate of inflation dropped from 10.1% down to 8.7%. So it is good to see the number coming down, but it was expected that the number would come down a bit further to about 8.2%. We also measure something called the core rate of inflation, and this is the headline rate of inflation, but with food and energy prices stripped out. Food and energy prices can be quite volatile, so by stripping them out, we get a better idea of the underlying level of demand in an economy. On this chart, we've got the headline CPI, shown by the pink line, against core CPI, shown by the green line. You can see the headline CPI has been much higher in the last 18 months because it contains food and energy prices, which are much higher because a lot of these products are imported from Russia and Ukraine. More recently, the headline rate has dipped because energy prices have come down. Core CPI, on the other hand, rose from 6.2 to 6.8% last month, and that will be a concern for the Bank of England because it suggests there is still too much more demand in the economy. It's now more likely that the Bank of England will have to put interest rates up again, so this week we did see some movements in interest rate sensitive stocks such as house builders and banks. This week, China has overtaken Japan to become the world's biggest exporter of cars. Here are China's monthly export figures, and you can see the dramatic increase since 2020. The figures do include vehicles that are made by non-Chinese companies operating within China. For example, American company Tesla does have a big factory within China. That said, domestic Chinese companies have made huge strides in producing low-cost electric vehicles, and these are now being exported all over the world. China is also one of the few countries that are still exporting cars to Russia, so that has done well for its global market share. The growth in the supply of cheap Chinese vehicles will have consequences for other vehicle manufacturers around the world, so do give us a call if you'd like to discuss this. We've talked about NVIDIA a few times in this video recently. NVIDIA makes semiconductors for artificial intelligence processes, and it has been in focus recently because of all the excitement about AI. Here's the five-year share price chart. You can see there was a big rise in 2021 when tech stocks were in favor, a big fall in 2022 when the market was weak, a big rise again this year due to all the excitement about AI, and then finally a 25% share price rise this week after the company released its results. The company now has a value of nearly $1 trillion. So why did the shares go up so much this week? Well, sales revenue is the answer. Here's the company's quarterly revenue over the last five years, and you can see the most recent number came in at $7.2 billion. In its results this week, the company said it expects the revenue figure for next quarter to be as high as $11 billion. That's a big increase, and that's why the shares went up so much this week. Next week, we are expecting results out from Salesforce. Have a great bank holiday weekend, and we look forward to seeing you next week.